Languages are just not that useful of a skill. You're kind of going down a path that can go anywhere. I know that learning languages is just not gonna get me to where I want to be. Then languages just aren't it. I feel like this all sounds so discouraging. It was my job to learn Japanese. I'm excited for this new chapter. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about something related to languages as we tend to do, but not exactly about languages themselves. Kinda. I will share with you why I no longer study languages the way I used to. A lot has changed this year and so I decided to take a step back from language learning both in my career slash academic career as well as in my personal life. I have been studying Japanese and English studies for the last five years and just recently graduated with a bachelor's degree in both. That means that for the last five years, languages and everything that comes with them, literature, history, culture, linguistics, were a big part of my life, a really important part of my life. It's also no secret that ever since I came back from Japan, my motivation to study Japanese and my interest in Japanese and everything surrounding it has kind of declined and has only been on like a maintenance kind of mode. While I'm still interested in Japanese linguistics and English linguistics and linguistics in general, I started to notice that all the other things surrounding my degree were not really what I was interested in anymore. I never really cared about literature, um, about literary studies. I never really cared about our cultural studies, which in my opinion are, are just glorified literary studies. I also never cared about historical linguistics, which is a really big part of my Japanese degree. And so for a while now, I've been wondering whether that is something I actually wanted to continue moving forward. The other thing that added onto this uncertainty of what I wanted to do was that as I started to look for jobs, I noticed that for a lot of the jobs that I was interested in, languages weren't the main part, they weren't the main requirement, they were just a nice to have. And this is just my experience, you may have a completely different experience, but I feel like languages are just not that useful of a skill in the grand scheme of things compared to other things that you could be learning. You know, for a lot of job positions, you don't need to have perfect English or perfect Japanese. You can have a decent level of either of those languages and then just have a bunch of other skills and that will 100% get you the job. Whereas being really really good at a language seems to not be the number one criteria for whether you will or will not get a job. I feel like this all sounds so discouraging to someone that might think that they want to go into linguistics or language studies, you know? But I think that if you have a good plan in mind of what you want to do later and you actually get some work experience or some other qualifications besides just the language, then it is perfectly fine to be in language studies. It's just that if you don't have other qualifications and you don't have any work experience and you don't know what you want to do later, you're kind of going down a path that can go anywhere, but it's going to be kind of hard to get somewhere. And so I would recommend anyone that has the chance to do internships, to get work experience, to learn other skills while you're at it so that you don't end up like me. My reason to study these degrees was literally because I was interested in the language for Japanese and I was good at English and I didn't know what else to do. So I never really had this end goal in mind. But as my graduation started to come closer and closer, I started to realize that really it just wasn't what I wanted to study any further and that if I started to get a master's in either Japanese or English or both that I would potentially dig myself a hole that it 
would be really hard to get out of later. So naturally, I had to find something else to do, right? And that is where I took some time off the summer, if you will, to think about what I actually wanted to do, what my goal was, and how I could get there. At the end of the day, my goal is still to find a job in the US. And that is gonna be notoriously difficult if you don't have a certain skill set or certain qualifications, which with a bachelor's in English and Japanese, I just don't have. And as I was trying to find things I could do after I graduated, after the summer, and I was considering my options, through a lot of random coincidences, I stumbled upon the program that I am now studying, which is called Linguistic Data Science. And it's really funny because up until a few weeks before I found that program, I didn't even know what data science was. And then a few weeks later, I find this program that was pretty much ticking all the boxes I was looking for. I see in it the chance to be interesting because it's still related to languages and linguistics somewhat. It will teach me a lot of transferable skills, right? Coding, math, statistics, or all things that can be used in a lot of fields so that even if I don't want to do anything related to languages anymore, I don't think those skills will go to waste necessarily. And I think that everything I'm gonna learn is actually really good to one day get me a job. A job that I might actually care about more than being a teacher. It wasn't an easy decision to make, but we figured that that was probably the best course of action and that that was probably something that would eventually get me a job in the US. So I decided to apply for it on a whim. It was a pretty spontaneous decision. All of this happened within like the span of a week or two. And I got accepted and I started to study at the beginning of October. And this leads me to my personal reasons why I no longer study languages with the intensity that I used to. Obviously, during my undergrad, right, especially for Japanese, it was my job to learn Japanese. My grades depended on how well I could learn vocab and kanji and construct sentences and write essays and so on as the semesters progressed. They were a really big priority in my life. But now that I have kind of changed the direction that I'm going into, languages are no longer my study priority. And don't get me wrong, I still really like languages. I still think they're amazing, they're a lot of fun. But as I said at the beginning of the video, they are just not that useful of a skill to have. And for the goals that I have in, in life or for the next few years, I know that learning languages is just not gonna get me to where I want to be. And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna study them anymore, but they're just, you know, a few places down on the list of priorities. And it's such a strange feeling because, I mean, for the last five years, languages have followed me along on like my journey throughout school. I've made a lot of friends. I found like great communities through language learning. And to now say that it's not as big of a part in my life anymore feels kind of strange, I'm gonna be honest. But don't worry, I'll still be around. Just because I will be studying less and with less intensity doesn't mean I won't be studying anymore at all. I still have goals that I want to achieve for my languages, even though they might take me a bit longer to achieve now, I'm very sure that I will still get there eventually. And I will of course share those at the end of the year with you as always. And I have some really cool projects planned for next year that I hope to finally get around to doing, also related to languages, so that's something I'm really excited about as well. I would definitely consider this the start of a new chapter. I mean, I moved out, I started a new degree, I started a new degree in a different direction, I'm gonna learn so many new things and I feel like this is the next two years, let's say, right, while I'm trying to get my degree are gonna be an interesting time. I feel like I have a lot of freedom now to finally do things that I've always wanted to try or 
just try new things, make new experiences and I'm excited for this new chapter. If you watched until now, let me know in the comments what your reason for learning languages is. Is it out of pure enjoyment or do you want to use them in your career one day? Do you maybe already work with languages? I'd be super curious to know where you all are at. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a ramble and a half, but I'm so excited to take you along on this journey of trying to find my way through life. And that's all I have for today. I hope you're excited for whatever is to come in the future. And I'll see you in the next video.